AI is everywhere and we almost see a new AI copywriting tool every 30 minutes, but I found something different. Because the problem with AI is that it doesn't write like you and often they all sound the same. So in the end, all websites using AI will end up sounding the same. But I found an AI that will be trained on your content to write like you. And the tool is Reword. So let's dive in and see how well it writes. AI is really here to stay and I see many people using AI in their daily work, including myself. But AI is not at a point where you can simply enter a keyword, press generate, get an article and press publish. At least not if you care about the content you put out, but it's getting there. But the thing that separates us from AI is that we have our own tone of voice and we have our own experience that AI doesn't have. And this is what we can add to the article. At the same way, AI doesn't know what's wrong and what's right. So we still need to make sure that we fact check everything that we put out. Because the way that you write content is unique to you and only you can write like that. And that's why I got excited when I saw Reword. Imagine a copywriter that writes just like you, but via AI where you just click a button and get an entire article. So when I started using Reword a week ago, it was super simple to set up. I integrated my Google Search Console and then through that integration, Reword pulled in all of my content and then started training the AI algorithm. And it took around four hours to train it on 130 articles and then it was ready. You can also use the WordPress integration. And the difference here is that if you use the Google Search Console integration, then it is only trained on the content that is publicly available on Google, which means that it is indexed. If you want all of your content, then you have to use the WordPress. But overall, it was super easy to use. And I tried, first of all, to generate an article before the training was done. And here the content was completely off, which I also expected because the AI hadn't been trained yet on my own content. So it was just a very generic AI and you could really see that in the content. But when it was done training on all of my content pieces after around four hours and I got the email from WeWord, I was so excited to test it out. Now it was time to see whether the tone of voice was exactly the way that I write my content. But before I dive into the results, then let me just share how Reword works because it works a little bit differently. Normally with AI copywriting tools, we're very used to just entering a keyword and then get an entire article out based on research, content, and so much more. But Rework is very different from this because with Rework, you go in and then you basically describe what you want your article to be about. So if I want to write a review about rework, then I would go in and then write the review, how I would write it more or less in a very brief summary. I would give it a title and then I would start writing. And the thing is here that when you start with rework, you don't get an outline or anything. You have to generate everything yourself using AI and it works just like an assistant. So the way it works is that you ask questions to the assistant. So for instance, if you want to build out your outline, you would ask this AI assistant, what subheadings are important for my specific subject? And then it will return a bunch of subheadings and often they are very precise and it works well, this entire workflow of asking and getting content in return, but it's not as efficient as just using a normal AI copywriting tool, getting an outline and getting everything generated. But for some, it might work because I tested multiple things. For instance, I wanted to build an FAQ. So I asked the AI assistant, what type of questions does people normally ask in the SERP around my query? And I got questions in return, but the questions were very long. So I had to summarize them. And what I basically just want is the questions in the SERP. I just want them crawled so I can answer them in my article. Here, it seemed like it was coming up with questions based on AI which can be fine because often those questions are also relevant. But for this case, I just wanted the questions from the SERP. It works a little bit like ChatGPT, where you have this entire chat conversation with your AI assistant, because the same goes for your content. When you want to generate content for each of your sections, you have to put the cursor where you want the content, and then you have to write a command, which could be write a section about this subject, and then it will start writing. And while the content was decent formatted, it was using lists and it was even using indents where it was showing quotes. That is brilliant to see because that makes it much more easy to read. But the problem I found was that the paragraphs were simply too long. 
Usually when I write my content, I write the paragraphs very short and it was clear to me that the AI algorithm hadn't been trained on writing short paragraphs. So that was at least not in the training set when it was trained on my content. But you can also use the AI features to either expand, enrich or simplify your content if you feel that it needs something. Because sometimes you will write a ton of different things using the AI and then sometimes it becomes a bit fluff because it is trying to hit the word count or you feel it needs a little bit extra, then these functions, they work great. But one thing I will say that they're nailing is reader intent. And here it is using AI to try and predict what it is the reader wants from your article. And based on the articles that I tested, this worked perfectly. For instance, I tried to make a review of low fruits, which is a keyword research tool. And here it identified that people who are reading this article they want to know how to find low competition keywords using low fruits. That was one reader intent. And often you get four to six different reader intents. And these are great because they can guide your article in the direction you want to write it. But they also guide the AI to write the content based on the reader intent. So even though we don't have this entire research module, which we see with Market Muse or even with Phrase, then we do have some minor steps towards it where we can see amount of headings, links, images, and the word count we need to hit more or less. But the reader intent is something unique I haven't seen before and they're really nailing it. But now to the end result that we've all been waiting for, did the AI write like me? And I'll say both yes and no. It did use some phrases and some words that I usually use when I write, but overall when I was reading the article, I couldn't identify my own style of writing content. So while it's definitely not there, I could see some signs of it. And the thing about Reword is that it trains the algorithm every single day. So we can only assume that it gets better by time because it gets more data to train the algorithm on and it just gets better and better. So hopefully if I continue to use Reword, then we'll see that it writes more like me in the future. Even though the style of writing content is a lot like ChatGPT, then it is still much better than ChatGPT because we get the lists, we get the indents, and we get the quotes as well, and we get all of this formatted. So that works very well. And I know you can ask ChatGPT to include this as well, but I feel that it works much better using Reword. And the thing is that as soon as you have your entire article written, then you can choose two ways to publish it. If you're using the WordPress plugin that I mentioned earlier, then you can simply press publish, and then it will be published on your WordPress website. They are also working on integrations to Shopify and to Webflow. And especially Webflow is interesting because if you have used Webflow, then their editor is really not that good to write content in. So that will be a game changer. If we can use Reword's editor to write the content and then push it directly to Webflow because overall, I really like Reword's editor. It is very simple to use. It is formatted in a way that makes it easy to read your content. It is using the right font sizes, the right font family, and overall, you have all of the functionality in there. And hopefully in the future, we'll see some type of two-way integration where if we update our content in Webflow or WordPress, then it will also be updated in Reword. And maybe we'll even see a research module in the future. But all of these things are, of course, interesting to see. But the core functionality of Reword is the AI algorithm. And that is definitely where I hope they will focus and make it better because that is one of the problems with AI that they're trying to solve, that the AI can write just like you. So you get your unique approach to content writing. And with Reword, you can start a 14 day free trial where you can test it out as much as you want with up to four articles. And their lowest paid plan right now costs 48 US dollars per month. And here you can work with up to 40 articles. And while this for some might be a steep price, we have to remember the pros of using Reword, which is that it is training the AI algorithm on our own content. So this is a super unique way of using AI to write content, just like you would write it yourself. Of course, there will always be some distance between how you would write it and the AI will write it. But the closer we come to the way we write content, the less time we need to spend on edit the content when it is written. So this is definitely for all content creators that wants to generate content with AI where it sounds like they have written it themselves. Of course, you will always have to still read everything through, ensure that the facts are correct and it sounds like you. But if you invest in using Reword and you let the AI algorithm train every single day in your content, 
then by the time I think you will have a very useful tool to write content for you. But I want to give Reword four stars. For me, I'm really missing the research module and then integration to the SERP where I'm sure that all of the data comes from the SERP and is based on the search results from Google. Because as it is right now, I have to generate my content in Reword, then I have to push it over to Phrase or Market Mills, and then I have to optimize my content further for Google and for all the NLP keywords, and then I can publish my content. So by doing this, I really miss the way of publishing through the WordPress plugin and the future integration. So hopefully they will add this content research module, which is so important for us to both optimize our content manually, but also for the AI to know what type of keywords to include in the text and what type of keywords it needs to discuss in the text as well. But if you want to see my review of the AI copywriting tool that I prefer to use right now, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.